Hello. This is a tutorial in which we're going to create a header or a banner for a website. And uh, to do this, I've prepared a whole bunch of objects that I put into my library beforehand. And you can uh, see them on the right here. And they have names. And they're uh, organized. So uh, let's get to it. Let's, uh, let's check our uh, canvas size. And it's 960 by 250, which is regular website width. And uh, let's drag uh, the sky and the ground object from the library onto the screen. So it creates, a, it creates an appropriately named layer. And then uh, let's drag the ground on top of that. And uh, let's see how it frames. I think the ground is a little too high. So let's do this. Oh, and I didn't notice uh, my thing was an animate, so I'll switch it back to design right now because I don't want to start animating yet. And uh, clear, up, clear up those keyframes. Okay. So. And then uh, there's a couple of characters I made. There's a cat and a bunny. So let's try and frame them within the banner. So that you can see the bunny's twerking and the cat's waving his hand. And if you go inside, you can see how it's animated. So uh, this is a, a 1.5 seconds uh, cycle. And over here it loops. And it's just set up like a character would be set up, his elbows and shoulders are separated and the head separated and inside the head there's all those things so you can animate them later if you choose to do so and uh, the same with the money inside is just a 0 0.75 seconds cycle and uh, his butt and his head and his arms and his legs are all separate and then it uh, and the overall timeline right now is 3 seconds so that uh, everything loops seamlessly Right? Like the cat waves twice and then the bunny does this thing several times. And uh yeah, let's keep let's keep dragging objects on. All the stuff that I pre-drew for it. Some of these cubes. And then there's some clouds. And some uh rainbows. So let's put the rainbows and the clouds behind behind the ground, but in front of the sky. So this way they're not uh, obscuring anything. And uh, yeah, I think uh, the characters are a little bit lopsided right now, so I'm going to drag them to the right. And then uh, let's get to the meat of this tutorial, which is this the title. It says Animatron, and then there's an Animatron logo here. So what we are going to do is do a couple of text effects. I'm going to show you how to do that. Let me just frame it. There you go. This is pretty good framing. I'm happy with that. And uh, we can uh, go right into this animatron object. I pre-drew the object beforehand. You can go right inside and start animating. Let's drag it into the middle. As you can see, all the all the letters are separated, which is the way you do it is you just press T for text and you put a letter and then you assign that letter to a player, which it does automatically, but in case you didn't, you can do it yourself. And what what I'm going to do is I'm going to animate the letters for the word animatron come from behind this guy. And then before that I'm going to make this animatron logo dude, let's name the layer, come onto the screen. Okay. Uh, let's get to it. I'm gonna switch my mode to animate. And uh, let's animate the guy first coming in. And uh, so uh, let's create the keyframe, let's say, somewhere here. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna drag this so I can see more of the timeline. And I'm gonna make it pretty short, so. Over here, I'm making three keyframes. I'll show you why. And the first keyframe is going to be somewhere off screen. Like this blue line that I'm dragging here, it, make, it, it, it shows you the trajectory of the object, the way it twins. So the way this happens is, um, so on uh, this intermediate keyframe, I make him overshoot the target a little bit. This is what uh, what's called antic in animation. And then... Uh, he comes back in. 
So this is this this is slightly less boring motion. And uh, 0 0.5 seconds, he's done doing whatever he needs to do. And now let's do the text effect. So what we're gonna do is we are going to create some keyframes at uh, let's say one second. So we're gonna create a keyframe at every every layer. This is pretty boring work, but you're lucky this word's not longer than it is. Uh, try to contain your excitement while I'm keying stuff here. So right now, we're going to animate these letters smoothly unrolling from underneath the guy when the guy lands in his final position. So, first of all, what we're going to do is we're just going to make all these uh, this letters animation start at 0 0.5, where we want it to start. So let's just move all of these layers into where I want it to be. So until 0 0.5 there's nothing on there. And almost done. Okay, so now the guy goes here, the letters appear. But now we want them to unroll, right? So uh, on 1.5 we're gonna move those letters slightly to give it a tween. Animatron sees that they've moved and it creates a tween automatically because we're in animate mode and that's what it does. And this way we can now change the first frame which means move the letter behind the guy which is what we wanted in the first place. And uh, keep track of your uh, blue line, it should be straight or kinda straight. And this way uh, we could uh, make sure that uh, it unrolls properly. There you go. So what happens now is that it comes in, the name unrolls. I think it's a little bit too slow, so I'm just gonna move all these keyframes to the left. And uh, that's a pretty quick operation. Let's just do that. And once it's done, you're going to have your effect. But what we also want to do is we also want it to be looping because it's a header, right? So it's continuously going to be on the, on the screen. So let's make it disappear in a way that would be interesting. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's try and uh, move it out of the of the screen in a way that will seem interesting. So this guy put a keyframe here and then uh, make him fly off the screen. So give him a little bit of a push the opposite way and then uh, take him off and uh, fade him up. So he's gone. And now let's make all these letters go away. So let's give him a starting position here. And make them all go in uh, in their separate ways. And the way to do it is I will just uh, move all these letters and fade them out. Just fade out everything. Just move them in separate directions or really wherever you want. Just whatever you think is uh, nice. I think this effect looks okay so I'm gonna do this. And this way, uh, not this guy, this guy I'm gonna lock. I'm gonna move the letter A. And there it goes. So now the whole thing is faded out. And uh, let's see the result. Goes in and goes away. 
and uh, same here goes in and goes away but let's, uh, let's see what it looks like when we render it let's publish HTML and then the loop box here is checked so it loops forever let's check this out and uh, yeah everything's working fine bunny's twerking the text is animating this, this seems okay and uh, in later stages you might want to add maybe a sentence to it or just any text you want really just try and use the tricks I showed you and uh, figure out the most interesting way to animate it uh, thanks for watching